Hey family, just a quick word. So I was looking at my stats and I realized that 84% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So I'll tell you what, while you're waiting, why don't you just hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, and then you can see all of my videos and you can help me out. See, without the subscription or hitting like, my videos don't get that many views. YouTube does not put that out there into their algorithm so that more people can see it. But the more people who hit like and the more people who subscribe, the more play my videos will get. So why don't you help a sister out and just hit that button. Thanks. So I have melons growing in two different places in my garden. I have them here on this trellis. And I have them over here growing on tomato cages. So one of the things that I'm guilty of also, not just other people, but I am guilty of also, is I kind of assume that people already know how to do certain things. And one of the things people usually have a question about is how do you get melons to grow up a trellis? You know, a lot of times we'll put a trellis next to a plant and we just assume that it's actually going to trellis up it and it doesn't. So we actually have to train it to go up. Most plants will grow towards the sun. They will reach out towards the sun or reach out in the direction that the sun is shining. And melons are no different. So we'll take like this piece here. But as you can see, melons have these tendrils and these tendrils tend to find something and they attach themselves to it. They will wrap around another vine, a leaf, or anything they can get their hands on. And unless we train it to go in the direction that we want it to go, it's gonna find its own way. So melons, just like other things, cucumbers, etc., all have to be trained to grow in the direction that you want them to. See what I was talking about? Let's see, look at that. It's attached itself to the watermelon. And these things are pretty strong. So I'm gonna to have to come back and unravel that and get it back up here. But as you can see, there's a little watermelon on there. These are sugar baby watermelons. And this is a cantaloupe. No cantaloupe yet, but I do have little female blossoms and male blossoms. So hopefully we'll be getting something really soon. If you can't get them to grab on, I purchased a bag of these plant clips. They come in two different sizes in one bag and they were 99 cents. And they're pretty easy to use because pretty much all you do is clamp this onto a vine, onto the trellis. Let's see, let's see if you were to, that one's kind of hard, so I'm not gonna do it. Let's just take this little, leaf here and all you would do is get that in there and then clip it around and that will help the vine trellis up and stay where you want it until it actually latches on so on this trellis here i have three different melons that are growing on the left side here i have sugar baby watermelons and you can see I've got a couple of them on here and there is a tiny baby way down here in the center I've got cantaloupe and I haven't really seen any I see you got a little tiny uh, little blossoms in here but no real fruit and uh, the other monster over here on this end is a honeydew melon. And when I say monster, this thing has taken over. All of this that you see 
is the honeydew melon. I have honeydew melons <laughs> everywhere. And take a peek on the other side and you can see some of the larger ones that I have and how I have to support them. So I've still got a few that are down here. But the ones that are actually growing up the trellis, I have to support. So I'll probably be tying this one up today. Look at the size of that. Oh, that guy is so heavy. Can't wait to enjoy these guys. But as you can see, tying these guys up with nylons. Because the weight of them against this trellis will snap the vine. See these vines? They're pretty prickly and they're pretty strong, but Do you see that? So then the weight of the melons and the tension on this trellis will snap this. I mean, this is a pretty sizable guy. He's got a lot of weight on him. So I'm gonna end up sliding him into the nylon like this one and then tying it up to the trellis to give it a little bit more support had to do the same with the one down there. It's also a nice size and uh, it's hanging as you can see. So I also had to give that one a little support also. So all I've done is I went to Walmart. I bought a little box of knee-high nylons the entire box was about $3 and some change. Slide the melon through into the sock. And I take the toe part and the rest of the opening and I tie them together over a piece of the actual trellis. This helps support the vine because if you guys ever picked up melons, you know, they're pretty weighty and it keeps them from cutting it off of there. Did the same thing with the watermelons. They're not as big or as heavy as the honeydew melons. These are, of course, a smaller variety. They don't get too big. This guy over here he is a nice size. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do the other one also. This guy, you can see right here when I left the vine, see how that's getting thin there? So what I think I'm gonna end up doing is actually flipping this back over the other side. And uh, seeing if I can support it from that end. But, you know, I actually think I'm gonna leave it on this side and do it, and I'll just put it on that top rung up there. Because if I flip it back to the other side, it's going to be on top of the other melon over there. So I'm gonna end up supporting it on this side. Okay, so if you can see, all I've done is I've slid it inside of this knee high. I took the open end and I took it under through the trellis. And now I'm gonna pull these two together and I'm gonna tie these two. And that's gonna give that some extra support so that it doesn't cut that vine on there. So it's just a simple knot. I did cut away some of the leaves so that I can keep an eye on that vine there. pretty sturdy so hopefully that will keep that piece from breaking because as you can see it's all bended right there but 
ones that are growing down here on the ground, I know a lot of people say, you know, lift them off the ground so that they don't rot or bugs or whatever. But personally, I feel bugs are everywhere, no matter if it's on the ground or on a trellis. But um, I kind of like the idea of fruits and vegetables growing the way God intended them to grow. So the ones that are on the ground, I'm going to leave on the ground. This one down here is also a pretty nice size and I think the only thing I'm going to do with that one is I'm going to move it off of the leaves. You know, and I'll probably cut this one out of here. I don't want to have anything decaying around it because, you know, then it will attract earwigs and other things that I don't want crawling around my produce. But aside from that, I'm just going to let it ripen on its own. Thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully, you will try vertically growing your fruits and vegetables, especially if you're like me and you have a small area to grow in. As you can see, you can put plenty on just one trellis. So as I said before, I've got honeydew melon, cantaloupe, and watermelon all growing here on this trellis and this trellis is about three feet wide the watermelon and the cantaloupe i grew from seed and the uh, honeydew melon was about maybe six inches tall it was a start that i bought but as you can see that guy is a monster it has taken over everything so if you're gonna grow honeydew melon, just make sure you have at least an eight to 10 foot space or a trellis that it can grow up. This bed here is sharing a bed with cucumbers and uh, they're all getting along pretty well. So once again, you don't need a lot of space to grow and you can grow melons, even on a patio or on a apartment balcony you don't need a lot of space if you grow vertically all right you guys have a blessed one enjoy the rest of your day i'm going to water everything really good and get out of the sun before this heat kicks in and once again don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell